In this example, we're given a contour map, and we want to use this to estimate the value of a particular point here, f of 3, 1, a function in two variables. So it wasn't expressly told to us in that part, but when we, when we have a contour map here, it goes f of x comma y. So we have an x value of 3 and a y value of 1 is initially given to us. We're kind of looking for a z value to go with this. So when you look at the contour map here, it's set up just like our Cartesian coordinate plane where our x-axis moves left to right and our y-axis goes up and down. So the first thing I would do is go ahead and try to identify where that point is on our, on our, um, our function f. So we're going to go with an x value of 3 and a y value of 1. That puts us at this point right here. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and let's take a look at the contour mappings and how they're labeled. So the first thing, I we're in between these two lines. This, this curve going here, this curve going here, they look to be circles. So this one has an elevation basically of 24. This outer one is going to be at 32. So we're somewhere in between 24 and 32 for the point that we've identified. Well, it's a total distance in between these two to go all the way across here of 32 minus 24 would be 8 units all the way um, change between 24 and 32. This is like change in elevation basically. Alright, so halfway between if our point was exactly halfway between, that would be 4 units bigger than 24 or 4 units smaller than 32, right? It's halfway in between. So 24 plus 4 would make that at 28. Okay, but our point doesn't look to be exactly halfway. Halfway, I would estimate to be right about there with the blue dot, if you can see that. All right, so it looks like ours is a little bit closer to the outer circle, that outer circle being 32 as opposed to the inner one, which was that lower 24. So I'd say it's pretty close to where the 28 is. All right, we'll be halfway across, but I would estimate this to be just a little bit bigger than 28. I would guess that this is going to be right about approximately 29. Now, I'm using an online homework system with this. Uh, my online homework system estimated this to be 28.8 .8 for an exact solution on this. So our 29 should be accepted, no problem. Um, but hopefully that logic makes sense, that we're somewhere in between those two contour lines going around there. Um, but you have to kind of estimate, you know, it's almost in the middle, a little bit closer to the bigger one at 32 going around the outside. So I made it 29. Um, instead of just being halfway. Hope this helps out as you're working on contour mappings. Um, not too bad, hopefully. Identify your point. Identify which ones you're in between if you don't land directly on one of the contour lines. And then do your best to estimate it. Good luck.